Hi Taurus and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your love and soulmate reading for October 2018. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. for the month of October, Love and Soulmate. Okay, so the first card we have here is the Wheel of Fortune, and this is you here, Taurus. For the month of October, I do feel like a lot of change is coming for you. I feel like there is something that is going to move forward, something that's going to progress. Something that you feel like has come, has come to a standstill in your life, something you feel that has not been able to move forward, is moving forward this month of October. Something really great is coming your way, something with a lot of positive, uplifting energy. With the Wheel of Fortune here, something is changing this month, and to have this as the first card, as the strongest card of this reading, it's very important to, to know here that the overall energy of this month for you is about change, about positive change, um, change of direction. It's like where you were once stuck, you are now going to move forward. Okay, Taurus, so... What I'm seeing here, and for a lot of you, this change is coming from some sort of tower. So we have the tower here. So with the tower card here, it's like you did endure this pain. You did go through this breakup. You did have a very hard trying time for you. And, you know, that may have put you in a place here with the hermit card. This is such a powerful month for you for um, for October, Taurus. This is such a powerful month. This month for you is all about change. It's all about moving forward. It's all about enduring that pain and making you stronger. And it's all about coming back twice as strong from this hurt. So what I'm seeing here is like, Whatever you were experiencing, whatever it is that you were going through, Taurus, it was painful, it was dark, it was challenging, you felt as if everything was going against you, you felt as if it was kind of like problem after problem weighing on you, and it's almost like you feel like you were experiencing the tower card, you were experiencing just all this pressure on you in slow motion. It's like it was a never-ending slow motion of hitting you in the face and you're just like, what the hell is going on? And so, sorry I don't like using those words, but it's so strong here. The energy is so strong here with you guys. It's because you guys were very persistent about not giving up. A lot of you came to your breaking point and you still held on. You still persevered through this situation. And that's so admirable about you guys because for a lot of you, you would sit back and be like, well, screw the world, screw the universe, and screw him and screw her. You guys have this energy of just being an angel when you go through a situation this trying. And so with the Hermit card here, you know, with the Hermit card and the Wheel of Fortune, this change that's coming into your life... For some of you, this could even be a spiritual awakening of some sense. With the Hermit card in the Wheel of Fortune here, Taurus, it's like a lot of you isolate yourselves from the outside world. A lot of you guys take some time for yourself. A lot of you guys are totally pulling yourself out of situations that are no longer bringing you happiness, that are no longer helping move you forward. And for a lot of you guys, you're closing off from things that don't that 
that really just don't move you forward. And so with the Hermit card here, you're kind of saying like, okay, look, I'm taking a time out from life. I am going to go do some soul searching. I'm going to go within and really see what my soul is saying to me. I really need this time to reevaluate where it is I want to go in life and what it is that I need to cut off here because you realize that this time in your life right now, Taurus, is all about it's all about going within and, and really just taking time for yourself. It's all about self-love and self-discovery. And for a lot of you, this change is all about it's all about going in a better direction for yourself. So for a lot of you, this is going to be a brand new chapter in life that brings so much clarity, so much peace, cutting out all the toxic in your life. That's what this is all about right here. And this I haven't had a reading this positive in a long time. And I feel the pain you guys were experiencing. You guys persevered through it like so well. And I know it's such a painful time, or it was such a painful time. For some of you it still is. It's like you're still teetering on that on that not speed bump. But it's it's here, it's coming. It's self-love. This month is all about self-love, moving forward, following your your spiritual path for some of you it may be religion but this is all about an awakening and it's all about really feeding your soul and listening to yourself putting yourself first and I really see that very strongly here with the hermit card next to the wheel of fortune I just you guys are very wise you guys are making decisions based off your off your intuition this month and and you're you know with the death card over here, you could easily be dealing with the Scorpio that just brought all this chaos into your life. But for some of you, this may just be the fact that with the tower card here, you're experiencing this new chapter. You're finally seeing the sunlight. You're able to leave something behind and put up your white flag and be like, I surrender to this whole entire experience. I, I surrender to this chapter in life. And, you know definitely the tower card it's painful it's dragging it it like lingers in your life but with a death card here you're burying that and you're leaving it behind you're really just burying it and leaving it behind this month and you're not looking back your backs are facing towards each other so whoever it is that you're dealing with and this could be you also over here just being like I'm done with it and this is you raising your flag I'm done I'm walking towards a brighter path but because the two backs are facing each other in these two cards you're not even focused on somebody that doesn't doesn't bring you happiness doesn't bring you you know the love you're searching for this deep love and I don't feel that over here whoever you're dealing with didn't bring you what made you feel most connected to love and Sure, there may have been some sort of karmic connection, some sort of cycle, some sort of unfinished business like you feel like you had with this person, but it's not even worth trying to finish because it's a karmic relationship here. You see with the tower card and the death card next to each other, it's all about lessons. It's all about death renewal. It's all about cycle. It's all about a karmic relationship. So if you're dealing with this person, it's like they must have taught you some sort of extreme lesson that you're learning or that you're coming to the senses of because you're finally deciding to let it go and it feels good it feels so good so with those two cards here then you have the page of pentacles and the emperor so for a lot of you here with the page of pentacles you're standing back up on your own two feet You're looking at what you're most passionate about. And, you know, this for a lot of you, I feel like this is going to come later October. You know, most of this month is just going to be about pure healing. For some of you, it's like, I'm going to go to the spa. I'm going to take a trip. I'm going to sit in my room all day, eat chocolate, watch Netflix. I'm going to take a bubble bath with some detox salt. With the Ember in reverse over here, it just kind of confirms that whoever you were dealing with, like, you, you know, 
could be an Aries, could be a Scorpio again. Somebody who, who always feels like they needed to take charge. They always needed the power in the relationship. They always tried to tell you what to do in the relationship or try to control you. It's like over controlling. And here with, um, you know, the Emperor in Reverse, you just, you guys are on two different pages. You guys just, you know, you're in a good spot. If you choose to communicate with this person, if you choose to speak with this person, just know that with this red aura around them, with this fiery nature in reverse, they're going to add fire back into your life. They're going to burn you. So please be careful, Taurus, if you decide to communicate with this side right here as with the Tower card, the Death card, and the Emperor card. It's all really telling me that it's, it's karmic, it's going to hurt, it's dark, it's painful, and it's all about a death and renewal. It's all about death and rebirth. So know that this is all about death and rebirth for you as well because with the Wheel of Fortune here you're, you're moving on, you're moving forward. So be very careful. I don't, I honestly think that this month is all about pushing away from this person. Sorry I'm getting kind of emotional. Be to feel the dark place that you are in, to feel the dark place that you're so strongly trying to get out of, for some of you, it almost even feels as if you're just drowning, but you're sitting there calmly like, I know I'm going to be okay. It's so admirable to see you with this mindset. It's just so inspiring to see you go through something so trying and come out on top. You deserve this. This is going to be an amazing month for you as long as you keep focus on yourself. Keep focus on the positives. For a lot of you, focus on synchronicities right now because with this Wheel of Fortune and the Hermit card, this is a very spiritual time for you. So really focus on synchronicities as your spirit guides and your guardian angels are close by. They're nearby. They're trying to guide you right now. So just make sure that you, you keep that in mind this month as you move forward because going through this time, you know, um, you're going to see yourself transform this month, but don't get down on yourself if you have a bad day. Don't get down on yourself if you have a day that feels like a setback. Because moving forward is all about having those setback days in order to appreciate how far you've come. The setback days are purely just to reflect on how far you've come. So that's strongly how I feel here for you guys. It's going to be such a positive month for you, and I'm so excited for you, Taurus. I know you've been struggling. I know you've been waiting for your time. This is it. This is all about the road to recovery, the road to the better path. So, sorry I'm getting a little emotional. I'm very excited for you guys. I feel the pain here, especially with whoever you're dealing with. So toxic for you. Stay away. Okay, Taurus, that is all I have for you for the month of October. I hope you guys have a wonderful month. If you guys have any questions, concerns, just want to talk, please feel free to email me. I would love to speak with you guys and give you guys any clarity or guidance you need as I feel for you. And I would love to talk you through anything that I can help with. If this does resonate with you, feel free to let me know in the comment section. And if it does not, I do apologize as this is a pretty general reading for many people. Although I feel like I strongly connected with you guys for this month, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.